Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are making French baked potatoes. Cue the music. Well, hey everybody, I am Chef John Polite, and you are watching It's Only Food. If this is your first time watching this channel, or if you just want to learn how to continue to make awesome food, or maybe even learn how to start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then do yourself a favor and click on that little subscribe button in the corner, and then hit that little notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, well you tuned in to watch me show you how to make French baked potatoes. So let's have a look at what our ingredients are here. We have got some gemstone potatoes that we're going to use. Uh, of course, we've got butter, and then we're gonna use these cornflakes here. We're gonna crush those up, and we're going to roll our potatoes in there after we have peeled them. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna get in the kitchen and start doing our prep. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gemstone potatoes that we've got here. Gemstones are just baby potatoes that have a very thin skin. They come in a variety of different colors. But we want to cut these down or tornay cut them maybe. But I do want to peel the skins off before we decide what we're going to do with them. But I want to keep them all the same size so they cook evenly. So we're basically just going to take a nice paring knife, make sure it's sharp. And you just want to take all of the skin off of these. And like I said, we can do a tournée cut, which is just a seven-sided cut to give it an oblong shape, much like a football. And do all these down to where they're pretty much the same size. Oops, I gotta give this a little end there. But that's a nice, somewhat of a tournée. It's not a perfect tournée but I just wanted to demonstrate the peeling and the cutting of the potato. We want to get all of our potatoes about the same size. I'm going to go ahead and do all those because there's really no need for you to watch me do that. I'm going to get about enough for two good sized servings before we melt our butter and finish up with the next step. All right, there you go. There's the tournée cut potatoes. They are not seven sided. Uh, so please don't leave comments in the comment section that they are not all seven sided. Nobody can see that. I did have a hand cramp really good there by peeling all of these. As you can see the peels there, they are tiny potatoes. If you've got limber little fingers, it's not so bad, but uh, make sure they're all cut the same size uh, so they cook evenly. All right, we're on to the next step. Just gonna microwave our butter. All right, we got our cornflakes right here. I'm just gonna use my trusty food ninja and do up the cornflakes. Basically just wanna grind these into a dust so we can roll the buttered potatoes into there. You can use crackers, you can use anything you want in the way of your breading. I just chose cornflakes because I think it would be a very good flavor. You can use Ritz crackers, saltines. Uh, heck, you can even use Cheerios or Fruit Loops if you want. It just depends on what you want for your flavor. But we're going with cornflakes right here. And if this doesn't work, if you don't have something that you can do like this for a food processor, throw them in a Ziploc bag and then use a rolling pin or a hammer or a jar of some sort that you can roll over the cornflakes in the bag to crush them up. They don't have to be this consistency, almost like a dust, but it does make for a better uh, coating. And make sure if you do it three or four times with a lot of potatoes that you change out uh, your crumbs or else they'll get clumps in there. So, all right, let's get these buttered and start rolling around. All right, we've got our dredging station here. We've got our potatoes. We have our butter. We have our corn flake crumbs mashed up. And then our finishing spot is going to be on the sheet pan here. I have the oven on preheating as we speak. I have a gloved hand. I'm just gonna dip these in the potatoes. I'm just going to dip the potatoes into the butter. I'm just gonna make sure they get nice and coated with the flakes. And I'm just gonna put them on the pan. And just repeat this process 
until all the potatoes are done. All right, these are the potatoes that we're going to put in the oven. When we get these out of the oven, they will be done. I am going to plate them up with some other surprises that I've got in store. We're going to take those pictures and use them for social media. We are going to stick them on the timeline as well with some groovy music. So enjoy the pictures and the music. See, I cooked up some rosemary lemon chicken with that, some nice vegetables, and there are our, our potatoes there. They really smell good with that cornflake crust. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera up on another tripod here, and we will taste these. Here is that gorgeous plate that we made. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these so you can check it out. That uh, corn cornflake really did adhere to the potato nicely. The butter looks like it gave it a nice color crust there. So here goes the taste. Now I noticed when I was peeling these potatoes that each different color of potato had a different fragrance coming off of it too. So I'm going to give it a try. The one I just ate was a white potato. Tasted like a russet that you would usually normally use for a baked potato. This is a purple one. Looked like a beet. My fingers actually got purple when I was peeling it. I had to wash them. Oh, there's your purple potato. It's definitely got a different flavor profile to it, too. Um, the red ones, when I peeled them, I didn't know which ones were red uh, once the peel was off. So I can't really find one that's red. This may be one I see a little bit of peel still on there that's red. Mm. Texture is definitely different too. Very buttery. It's got a very nice uh, crust on it with that cornmeal, that cornflake crust that really is a good. It complements it really well. Uh, these are baby potatoes. Remember to go ahead and peel them before you use the butter on them. It helps it stick to it better than using it with the peel on. The peel will not let it stick to it as well. French baked potatoes. All right, well, thanks so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to go down to my description box and check out all those awesome links that I've got down there. I've got one for my seasoning. I have an Etsy store where I sell all my wonderful gourmet seasonings. And then also make sure you stalk me on social media. All those links are also provided down in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and like this video. Leave all your comments right down below. And then make sure you share this video with everybody, everybody that you know. Take care and we'll see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye bye.